What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. So I've been looking at a lot of people wondering how Captain America lifted Thor's hammer with such ease in Avengers Endgame. So did he become worthy exactly at that moment or was he worthy from a time before? If so, then when exactly did he become worthy? All these sort of questions and I'm going to answer all of it in this video and hopefully you guys won't have any second thoughts about Cap being worthy after watching this video. Before we get started however, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel as it will help me grow bigger on this platform and please give me a thumbs up if by the end of this video you find my reasons compelling. So let's begin by dissecting the first theory which is Cap became worthy after Civil War. Because only during the events of Civil War, Cap was able to let go of one of the darkest secrets that he knew and that is Bucky murdering Tony's parents but if you look closely at those scenes in Civil War, you will find out Cap actually didn't keep any dark secret. Cap knew that Hydra had something to do with Tony's parents but not Bucky specifically. Let's rewatch that scene and we will get a better context. Did you know? I didn't know it was him. I just did you know. Yes. So it wasn't only Tony who came to know about the whole thing, but also Cap who came to know the killer was Sergeant Bucky Byrne. So to say that because Cap unveiled the secret and he had no other dark secrets to keep, he became worthy is not valid. Because he kept Hydra's involvement from Tony with the purest of intention. Keeping a secret does not prevent you from being worthy. Odin kept Loki's true parentage from him and clearly continues to hold the hammer after he casts the enchantment. Also Thor lies to a whole bunch of people, betrays his father and revolts against Asgard in Thor the Dark World but still remains worthy. So it's totally invalid to say having secrets make you unworthy of lifting the Mjolnir. Kevin Feige, the Russos and Joss Whedon, the actual director of the famous scene of Cap almost lifting Mjolnir ever so slightly have all said that he could have picked it up in Age of Ultron. When a fan asked Joss Whedon how is Steve Rogers not worthy, Whedon responded is he not? Are we sure? Did he fail or did he just talk? He said it back in 2015. How is Steve Rogers not worthy? Is he not? Are we sure? <laughs> did he fail or did he stop? But because Cap is so humble, so he didn't want to embarrass Thor in front of everyone by lifting his hammer. The Russo brothers have also explained that Cap came to know he is worthy of lifting the hammer in that same scene as well. He realized he can move it, he can lift it, but with a split of a second he decided not to, so Thor doesn't get embarrassed. No, but Cap didn't know until he tried that he could actually move it, so it's, yeah. it, it, you, it's very fun to see him reverse himself in a millisecond like that. Fortunately, I remember, you know, just sitting around the writing room with Marcus and McFeely. I can't remember how it initially came up, but the... I think it might have been Kevin's pitch. It might have, yeah, it might have been yeah. Kevin Feige's pitch that we sort of revisit that concept and pull it, pull it forward. Uh, to fruition. There is no partly worthy or maybe later worthy. Thor can't move the hammer at all when the enchantment is first cast. Upon his self-sacrifice, it comes to him. So people who say Cap wasn't fully worthy at the time of Age of Ultron isn't true either. You either can or cannot. Nothing in between. The Russos directed all three movies involved in the Bucky theory and their intent as the creators of the story clearly has nothing to do with Cap becoming worthy after Civil War. And Thor said says I knew it the moment Cap summons the Mjolnir because Thor always knew Cap is worthy. It's just that none of them ever decided to discuss it or disclose it to anybody else. In the final battle of Avengers Endgame, if Cap didn't know he could lift it, he wouldn't have wasted time trying to lift the hammer at such a crucial moment. He has seconds left until Thor dies. He wouldn't waste those seconds trying to pick up the famously immovable hammer unless he already knew it was definitely an option. Plus, he didn't just lift it, he summons it. He makes the hammer hit Thanos, save Thor, and then eventually comes to his hand. You can't just suddenly be this much worthy from nothing. The question then remains, when exactly did Cap become worthy? To me, the most logical and rational answer would be when Steve Rogers, having no super soldier serum, no special training, literally nothing, still decided to leap on a grenade to save his entire team from dying, even though it was a test. Grenade! Oh 
away! Get back! He's still skinny. But his conviction, his loyalty and his desire to save other people, even at the expense of losing his own life, is what makes Captain America worthy. Even in Avengers Endgame when Cap's shield was broken, Thor and Iron Man are both knocked out, Cap stands his ground against Thanos and his entire army. One versus thousands. That too with a broken shield. Literally the entire point of the character is humility and compassion. He is what worthy looks like. And as always, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button if you think I have explained my reasons well. Peace out. Come on, Cap. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Avengers! Assemble.